Jesus, um, before he went to the cross, sat down with his disciples at the uh, Passover meal, and he took uh, bread and he broke it and said, "This is uh, when you partake of this. You are, this represents my body." And he took a cup of wine and said that this would represent his blood. And then he told us that he wanted them to do this often in remembrance of him. And we have examples in the Bible of the, uh, the uh, church assembling and partaking of the Lord's Supper on the first day of the week. And uh, that's what we uh, do here. And I want to read what Paul had to say about uh, uh, taking the Lord's Supper in 1 Corinthians 11. He told um, the church there, For I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus on the night when he was betrayed took a loaf of bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup also after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. So we're going to uh, take the bread now. It's the little side of the cup. Make sure you open the little side first or you'll spill the wine on you when you turn it over. Dear Heavenly Father, as we partake of this unleavened bread, let's remember that Jesus said that this represents his flesh, the flesh that was pierced upon that cruel cross. And let's remember him and what he means to us as we partake of it. We pray in Christ's name. Amen. And dear Heavenly Father, as we continue to uh, partake of this memorial that Jesus gave us to do in remembrance of him, let's remember that this fruit of the vine represents his blood that was shed for the new covenant. And we do this in remembrance of him. We pray in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. 